Hello, good morning. I hope you are fine. Child of God, this morning I'd like to talk to you about the absurdity of evil. Evil is a very, very mysterious thing. When God tells us to flee every form of evil, like man, you really should. Because evil is so complicated that you first of all don't understand it. Secondly, it always wants to inhabit you. It wants to be a part of your daily life. And then thirdly, it's always going to destroy you. Of course, there are many ways to look at the issue of evil and of course the easiest way to look at it is to look at it from the way the devil operates. The devil first comes to you like an, as if he's an angel of light and then gradually tries to take possession of you and then gradually tries to destroy you. There are a few people who exaggerate the influence of the devil in their lives. There are some churches where we talk more about the devil than we should, we should and uh, we actually talk more about the devil in some churches than we talk about Jesus. That's wrong. But that said, there's also the other extreme of thinking that the devil does not exist, that it's just um, a metaphor for evil. Man, I, I need to let you know this morning that the devil does exist and his only intention, as Jesus tells us in John uh, 10 verses 10, is to steal, to kill and to destroy you. Now, let me just show you two things or more, depending on the time we have from the readings of today about this absurdity of evil. The first is when evil expresses itself in some form of jealousy. In Genesis chapter 2, from verses 5 to 20, we read how Sarah, who had advised Abraham in the past to get along with Agar, their slave girl, so that you know they could have a child, and then Agar gives birth to Ishmael, his son for Abraham. And then in this in today's reading, we see that Isaac, the son of um, Sarah, who later gave birth at the age of when, when Abraham was a hundred years old. She sees that her son, Isaac, is playing with Ishmael, the son of the slave girl, Agar, and she's jealous. She's so jealous and angry that she asks Abraham to send Agar and the little boy out of the house. Abraham, of course, had to oblige. Now, this is, this is terrible. She was a person. She was the one who advised Abraham in the first place to go with Abraham. Agar so they can have a hair. Now Agar gives her a hair, which in those days was legal because when the slave girl had a child, the child belonged to the mistress. Agar gave birth to a child for her and now she's asking that the, girl, that the child and Agar be sent into the desert to die. This is terrible. This is pure evil. And how can you even begin to understand that? Child of God, this is what happens when evil takes over us. We don't understand what we do anymore. People don't understand how we're behaving anymore. That is why it is very important to be very careful with allowing evil or hatred or jealousy to grow in our hearts. Because first of all, we think we're doing evil to someone else, but gradually it will change our character and take over our lives. Now in the Gospel reading, we find a man. The Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 8, from verses 28 to 34. In that text, we find a man whose life has been completely has been completely taken over by evil. He was possessed by demons and he began to live between the tombs. For God's sake, who lives between the tombs? That's exactly what evil can do to us. When the devil takes possession of you, all he wants to do, first of all, is to isolate you from everyone else. He moves you away from where everyone, where everyone lives. And you begin to live, in quotes, among the dead. You begin to do things that you don't even understand. Why would you be living in the tombs? But thank God for the grace of Jesus. Thank God for the power of Jesus. So Jesus goes to this man today and drives the demons out of him. They go into a set of pigs and the pigs themselves go ahead and drown in the river. Now, child of God, this is just to show to us what, how evil is absurd, how evil can want to destroy us and possess us, but to let us know at the end that there is a power of Jesus for us. The Lord wants to save you from every evil, from every addiction, from everything that wants to control your life and make your life meaningless. Everything that wants to steal God's blessings from you. Everything that wants to kill you from everything that wants to destroy you. The power of Jesus is available for you today. Just call upon him and he will save you from the absurdity of evil. I pray that the Almighty God will bless you today and keep you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.